The really useful chord progression poster makes playing chord progressions and composing music easier and more fun. So you've thought of a nice melody for your new song, but how do you write a great chord progression to back it up? Well, every major and minor scale has its own unique set of seven basic chords, chords that sound good together because they're all made up of notes from the same scale. If you know the scale of your melody, the seven chords in that corresponding set give you an instant starting point. Move between chords in a set and move between sets themselves to create unique chord progressions for your music simply and effectively. And now, this process is even easier with the really useful chord progression poster. The poster displays all 24 major and minor chord sets in one easy to read format, giving you everything you need to create interesting chord progressions and jam away to your heart's content. It's fully illustrated, so you don't have to be able to read traditional musical notation to use it. But even if you can, it's a lot more immediate and easy to use. It's just the right size to fit on your wall in front of your piano or keyboard, and we ship anywhere in the world, making it the perfect gift for yourself or someone you love. Let's take a look at the poster in action. I have an idea for a melody that I'd like to accompany with some chords. I know that my melody starts in the key of E flat major, transitions to G sharp minor, and then returns to E flat major. If I look to the left hand side of my poster to begin with, I can easily find the E flat major set of seven chords, so I'm going to start with those. Before I start playing chords to my melody, I'm going to explain the method I use for choosing which of the seven chords to play. The first note in my melody is an E flat. So I'm going to look for chords in the set that contain an E-flat. I can see there are three of them, so I would audition all three. I like the C minor chord, which is made up of C, E-flat, G. Now let's see what that chord sounds like together with the melody note. I'm going to play the chord an octave down so that it doesn't interfere with the melody. One thing to mention is that when I play the chord alongside the melody note, we are now playing two E flats at the same time. This creates a bit of a clash, especially if you're playing them using the same sound preset as I am. So what I'm going to do is not play the E flat in my left hand, giving the E-flat in my right hand a chance to come through. Let's hear that in comparison. I'm going to employ this method throughout the whole song, choosing a chord that contains the melody note, but only playing the other two notes in that chord with my left hand. That way, I can create a nice backing to the melody without overcrowding it. So let's give that a go for the whole melody, including the key changes.
two things you might have noticed there. One is that I occasionally played inversions of the chord instead of the root chord to better suit the arrangement. As the poster displays all inversions of the chord underneath each root chord, it makes it easy to try these different variations and see what works best. Number two is that I ended on a C major chord, which isn't in either of the chord sets I used. This is just to demonstrate that there is no right or wrong, you can play whatever sounds good to you. The poster is just there as a guide. I'm liking how that sounds, so now I'm going to develop the song further by adding some pad sounds. I'm going to work with the same chord sets as before, but this time I might choose different chords at certain points to give an interesting contrast. To finish the song off, I'm going to go over it one more time and add some arpeggios. This time round, I've synced the first two progressions to a beat, and I'm using the arpeggio function on my keyboard. To keep the arpeggio synced to the 4-4 tempo of my song, I'm going to play a three chord triad from the chord set, but also repeat the lowest note of the chord an octave down, which means I'll be playing four notes at a time.
there we go. Using the really useful chord progression poster, I was easily able to take a simple idea for a melody and expand it out with some great sounding chords. I did this in quite a structured way, but the poster is also great for jamming different chord progressions in different key signatures until you get something you like. There are no hard and fast rules you must follow, and this method represents just one of the ways to come up with unique chord progressions that you enjoy. The poster simply aims to provide the building blocks for improvisation. The rest is up to you. We've built on the initial success of our first Kickstarter funded poster, and now we need your help again to get this next poster into the hands of those who need it. If successful, we're aiming to ship all rewards in the first week of December, so they arrive in time for Christmas. So if you're producing music, or you know someone else who is, then please support our project and help make piano playing and music composition more accessible to all.